Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How, are How are you? How are you? Very good, and you, teacher. Doing good. Thank you very much. Okay, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay, great. Okay, that's the spirit. Okay, let's begin. Just a moment. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Okay, there it is. And I'm also going to call the calling attendance. Just a moment. Okay. So, um, Braulio Heriberto Velázquez Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado. César Alejandro Aparicio Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Damaris Isabel Castellanos Tobar. Doribel Arelí Arreaza Flores. Doribel Arelí Arreaza Flores. Elí Antonio Sandoval Colindres. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Herbert Adán Miranda. Thank you. Isabel Elizabeth Torres, Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño López. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Teacher. Pido permiso. Pido permiso. Ah, sí, hay unos que estaban comentando, ¿verdad? Que tienen problemas para entrar. Bueno, pues de igual. Uno de ellos. Ajá, ok, perfecto. Vaya. Igual, de todas formas, uh -huh. igual, so, la asistencia solo se puede tomar si están conectados a la clase. Así que igual tengo que, tengo que mencionarlos. Pero gracias por avisarme. Doribel, Doribel nos dice por acá que ya llegó. Thank you, Doribel. Teacher, a mí ya me mencionó, disculpe. Esmeralda, Soy Esmeralda Isabel. Isabel. Sí, sí, ya la mencioné. Pero aquí estoy. Pude conectarme, no me puedes. Ah, vaya. Vale. Ya estuve, ya la mencioné. No, mentira. No. Okay. Ya, ya, ya le tomamos asistencia. Ya está. Bye. Ok. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. Ah, decían por ahí, ¿verdad? Uh, Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Thank you. Damaris dice también que ya está por acá. Ok. Thank you. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza, creo que nos estaba diciendo por ahí que no tenía problemas para entrar, pero vamos. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza, no. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Laura Concepción. Ok. 
<laughs> Sorry. Ok, ok. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Presente. Thank you. Luz Clara de la O Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Marina Esmeralda Martínez Ramos. Aquí estoy, teacher. Ok. Ok. Por ahí Carlos Alberto Martínez Alvarado me indica que ya se conectó. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Abigail Calderón Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Marielos Amaya de Guardado. Here teacher. Thank you. Salvador Enrique Palomo Gómez. I am here teacher. Thank you. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Lisette Carías de Cedillos. I am here teacher. Thank you. Okay. Just calling two names. Jaime Adonai Durán Hércules. No. Jesús Eduardo Escobar Carranza. Not here. Okay. Let's begin, everybody. Take a look. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Módulo 3. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session number 12. And today is June the 8th of 2023. Let's do this. We have to finish the, the, the section today, or the unit, we can say. So there's a lesson objective right here. In this conversation, the use of questions with how will be introduced by asking about distance and measurements, okay? En esta conversación, el uso de preguntas con cómo serán presentadas a través de preguntas relacionadas a distancia y medidas. So that's lesson objective 4.9 from the platform. So let's do this. Conversation, distances and measurements, distancias y medidas. Okay, so you can see here in the photograph, there's Mount Cook, okay? That's Mount Cook over here. In the distance, you can see Mount Cook. So there's a conversation, listen and practice, but I don't have the audio file, so I need volunteers. I need, uh, let's see, two volunteers. Okay, Saul and Wendy. Saul, I want you to play Scott, and Wendy, please, I want you to play Beth. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Teacher, is correct pronunciation? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. It has loads of farms. And it's uy, very uy, 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 uy. Se, sal, se saltó su línea. Oh, I, oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? What, what's it like there? What's like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot, lot of farm and it's very mountainous. Very mon monta mountainous. Mountainous. Mm -hmm. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about a uh, Three millions? Mm -mm -mm. Three thousand? Yes. Three thousand a, a hundred meters high. Mm -hmm. mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. In Auckland is about 200 mm -mm. kilometers. Two millions. Mm -mm. 200. Mm -mm. Two downs are teachers. Yes, 2,000. 2,000. 2,000 kilometers yeah. from Sydney. Mm -hmm. uh, well, maybe I show 
This is you make year two. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Saul and Wendy. Okay, por acá está Jaime ya. Quitamos su asistencia. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, so Scott says, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? And Beth says, actually, de hecho, actually, I'm from New Zealand. Scott says, oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Como es ahí? What's it like there? Beth says, oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Scott says, really? How high are the mountains? Beth says, well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Scott says, hmm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Beth says, well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Scott says, well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Before we continue, do you have any questions about this conversation? Questions about the vocabulary, the phrases, or the pronunciation of, a cert of certain words? Okay, Luis Fernando. Uh, yes, um, I have a question about the, the distance and the high and the large. Um, I can express in Spanish because, bueno, el punto es el siguiente. Um, estaba haciendo el último ejercicio, eh, creo que fue de la sección 4, pero estaba un poco confundido porque el... La primera pregunta del último ejercicio hablaba acerca de, creo que la altura de unas cataratas o de una cascada, uh -huh. Uh -huh. pero no encontré la palabra para poder ponerlo porque puse high, puse tall y puse large y ninguna uh -huh. me la aceptó. Uh -huh. Entonces eh, estoy viendo, por ejemplo, que acá en la parte de Scott dice, really, how high are, are the mountains? Entonces... No sé exactamente si hay alguna regla para poder diferenciar una de la otra. Si hay alguna alguna palabra específica para altura de montaña o altura de cascada o or something like that. It's high, actually. Pero si gusta, vemos el ejercicio con detenimiento uh, esta misma clase. Ok. Ok, Thank no you. problem. Ok, cool. Ok, uh, do you have any other questions about this? Ok, Braulio. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Eh, in English, in English, in English. Uh, sorry, what is pronunciation in the kilometers? Kilometers. 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 Mm, kilometers. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions about the pronunciation or uh, the meaning of words or expressions in this conversation? No questions. Okay, then. All right, let's move on. Lesson objective, that's 4.11. By the end of this session, you will learn to ask and answer questions with how. Al final de esta sesión, aprenderán a hacer preguntas con qué tan y a dar respuestas. So, grammar focus, questions with how. Take a look. You can ask, for example, how far? When you want to know about measurements and also about distance, you can use how. Like how far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? ¿Qué tan lejos? O a qué distancia, ok? How far is New Zealand from Australia? A qué distancia o qué tan lejos está Nueva Zelanda de Australia? And then you say, it's about 2,000 kilometers. Just like that, it's about 2,000 kilometers. That's the equivalent of 1,200 miles. Second example, how big, qué tan grande, how big is Singapore? 
how big is Singapore? You say it's 648 square kilometers. Okay, that's how big, okay, Singapore is. It's 648 square kilometers or the equivalent of 250 square miles. Square, right? So what about the next one? How high is Mount Cook? How high is Mount Cook? Que tan alto? Okay, altura tiene. How high is Mount Cook? You can say it's 3,740 meters high. Now you have to be very careful here because when you provide an answer and they are asking you how high, you have to finish the answer with the word high also. Cuidado acá. Cuando usted le preguntan sobre high, deep y long, tiene que ocupar las palabras high, deep y long también en la respuesta. That's very important. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high. Or the equivalent 12,250 feet. Next example. How deep, que tan profundo, how deep is the Grand Canyon? Then you say it's about 1,900 meters deep or the equivalent 6,250 feet deep. How long, que tan largo, how long is the Mississippi River? You say it's about 5,970 kilometers long, okay? Or 3,710 miles. Now, I want you to take a good look at this. When they ask you questions with how high, you finish the answer with high. If they ask you how deep, you finish the answer with deep. And if they ask you how long, you finish the answer with long. Only in those three cases. If it is far, big, hot, or cold, don't use it. Salvador. Teacher, in, in the platform, the 4.13 is almost the same question. But I try to to do in the the same that you have explained right now. Mm -hmm. But some of them, some of those questions, uh, I I did wrong. But I, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if, if you can explain today, please. It's okay. only for for question, please. Okay, no problem. We're going to check that today. Don't worry. Hoy vemos eso, no se preocupe. We're going to check that today. Okay, cool. So uh, the next one is, uh, how hot is Auckland in the summer? Que tan caliente. How hot is Auckland in the summer? You say it gets up to about 20, 23 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're going to, we're talking about how hot a place is. So you say it gets up, alcanza, hasta los 23 grados Celsius. That's why it says it gets up. Okay, that is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And the opposite will be how cold is it in the winter? Que tan frío es en el invierno? So you say it goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius. This is the opposite because we're talking about temperature. You say it gets down or it goes down. The temperatura desciende. It goes down to about 10 uh, degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we're going to, that's what we're going for right here. So um, you were telling me here that you, you have some difficulties with this exercise. Okay, in the platform. So we're going to try to do it here. Okay, so uh, just a moment. Okay, Salvador Enrique, the first one. The answer is Angel Falls is 979 meters or 3,212 feet high. So what's the question, Salvador? And my question is, for example, if I see in the 
I see in the in the grammar focus question mm -hmm. we have. I see the the metals in high in feet metals and feet right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that's why I put how deep is angels fall. Not, e not exactly. Normally, when you talk about waterfalls, you talk about height, not I depth. Put, I put high, I put high too, but I don't know why it's is is bad too. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to see how you do it. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Okay, but who can tell us the first one? Quien nos ayuda con la primera? Braulio. Um, yes, teacher, uh, is um, how, uh, how high uh, is Angel uh, Fall? How high is Angel Fall? Okay, creo que ya sé por qué le salió mal. <laughs> okay, give me a second. How high is Angel Falls? Ya sé por qué. Vaya, ahorita les digo. Si uno pone, How high is Angel Fall? Lo va a tomar mala. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ya sé por qué. Vaya, esto sucede en ocasiones porque, sin tratar de culpar a nadie, por supuesto, eh, se ha introducido en la programación de la página web una respuesta que no es del todo correcta. Entonces, en, el, en, en la página, ¿verdad? Si usted lo pone así, aunque esté bien, se lo va a tomar como mal. Porque se ha programado que la respuesta es que diga Angels o oh. Ahí está el detalle. Ahora... La consulta, por, en este caso, de Salvador Enrique es totalmente válida porque, como va a saber uno, que tuvieron un error de dedo a la hora de poner, a la hora de programar la respuesta. Por más que usted le ponga y le quite, nunca le va a salir bien. Así que vamos a probar ahora. Yes. Y me sigue saliendo mala. Sí, porque es con Angel Falls. Con S al final de Falls. Ajá, porque Todavía. no sé por qué así lo agarra. Todavía una S más. Eso iba a decir yo también. Angels Falls, ajá, ahí yes. está. Vaya, pero debería ser Angel Falls. Aquí he puesto Angels Falls, pero debería ser Angel Falls, nada más. Ok. O Angels Falls, creo que es, de hecho. No, es, es con S, Angels Falls, de hecho. Así que eh, ahí está. Esta S es la que hace ahí la diferencia. Si usted había colocado Angel Falls, ok, eso está bien. Eso sería lo correcto. Pero de nuevo, en la página está programado para que la respuesta lleve esa S. Así que si usted lo pone diferente, se lo va a tomar mal. Pero yo creo que también por la misma respuesta que da la, la plataforma, fíjese. Uh -huh. Por la por... pregunta que aparece aquí, ajá. ¿verdad? Ajá. No, ajá, por, ajá. Uh -huh. por la respuesta, porque también está en... Teacher, para what about you put everything in minúscula? Is, is doing bad too, but uh, in, I had to put in uh, lower case. In lower, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Aunque lo pone en minúscula, sale bien. Okay. So, um, what about number two? I need a volunteer, please. Uh, Wendy, and then Rebecca, and then Saul, and then Luz Clara. Bueno, creo que Luz Clara ya no alcanza <laughs> porque se acaban. Okay, so uh, number two, Wendy. How big is California? How big is California? Yeah, California is about 403,970 square kilometers or the equivalent of 155,173 square miles. Okay, that's it. Very good. Rebecca Abigail, number four. How long is the Nile? 
how long is the Nile? Okay, the Nile is 6,670 kilometers or the equivalent of 4,145 miles long. Okay, good. Thank you. Saul Alexander, number four. I have this question from DC. Something is missing. I'm going to fall you. How hot is Washington, D.C.? Uh, in the summer. Yeah. How hot is Washington, D.C. in the summer? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so uh, Washington, D.C. gets up to, because we're talking about how hot, so it gets up, okay, to about 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer. Now, if we go back to the exercise. Teacher. Yes. Can you send the, the answer in the WhatsApp, please? Okay. Uh, aquí los podemos ver también. Okay, no problem. Thanks. Just give me a second here. Okay, so uh, for the second one, you have how big is California? Okay, the third one is how long is the Nile? And number four, that will be how hot is Washington, comma, Washington, comma, D, C, in the summer? Or simplemente pueden poner how hot is Washington in the summer? Todas esas estarían bien. Vamos a ver si las toma todas buenas. Va, ahí resulta, me toma mal a esta. Vamos a quitarle DC entonces. How hot is Washington in the summer? So, who is how? Sorry. Sí, teacher, se le quita DC porque a mí me salió mal. How, I'm sorry. Porque puse DC. I'm sorry. Lo hice a propósito para ver si estaban poniendo atención. No, I'm kidding. Un error ahí, un error. So how hot is Washington in the summer? Okay, there you go. Those are the answers. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Por aquí las compartimos también. Podemos ver el uno de la sección 5 que iba a Sí que me ha costado en la segunda parte. ¿Cuál, perdón? El ejercicio, el 5, ya le digo cuál. El 5.4 de la segunda parte. La sí. sección 5, dice ella. Sección 5, 5.4. Es que como ya nos están pidiendo la sección 5. Uh, vaya, veamos. No hemos llegado ahí, pero bueno. Pues sí, pero ya nos están pidiendo la mitad de la sección 5. <risa> ok. <risa> Yo sé que no estamos ahí. All right, all right. Relax, relax. Tranqui. Ay, bicho, ustedes, que ustedes me alteran. Vamos a ver. Ok, I get it. Vamos acá, permítanme. Sería este de aquí, ¿verdad? Ok. Just give me a moment. Mientras llego aquí de este lado también. 5.4. Okay, so um, this is present continuous for the future. Luz Clara. No. Ok, Luz Clara tiene levantada la mano, no sé si tiene alguna consulta. No, ok, well, uh, you have knowledge check, ok, uh, is this the exercise, Marina Esmeralda? Yes, ok, sí, so, okay so you have here, complete the invitations with the present continuous, the present continuous, Used as future, use the pronoun and the verb in brackets. Okay, so you have you do. In this case, you have what are you doing tonight? 
What are you doing tonight? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta noche? The second one should be, are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your par parents like to come? Number four, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? And in part two, you have instructions. Complete the responses with be going to. Use the verbs in brackets. This is the future also, but a different structure. Complete las respuestas con el be going to. Usa los verbos en paréntesis. I am going to be here. Okay, on... I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not on Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. Okay, number two says, well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, but my mother and I are going to be home. What about number three? Sorry, I can't. I am going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow? night and number four you have can we go to a late sh show you say i am going to stay at the office until seven let's check yeah well correct i am teacher yo no problem no problem okay no problem. Okay, then. Well, uh, let's continue. Okay. Insisto por acá. Luz Clara, no sé si tiene alguna consulta. Tiene la manita levantada. Okay, probably not. Hi. Okay, thank you. So, um, there isn't much to say about that exercise. Okay, uh, you just say, how high is Angel Falls? How big is California? How long is the Nile? How hot is Washington DC in the summer? But there is something okay. extra that we can do here. Okay, there's an extra exercise. Just let me find it right here. And it's this one. Okay, we're going to do some extra practice. This is extra, okay, everybody. It's extra practice. Actually, I'm just going to label it too. Let's see, put it here and okay, here's some extra practice. Um perdonan lo pequeñito de la letra, pero bueno, no sé si alcanzan a ver. So what do you have to do? You have to look, use the words in the box. The words in the box are how big, how cold, how deep, how far, how long, how big. So use the words in the box, write questions about the pictures, and then circle the correct answers. For example, you have Angel Falls, okay? How high is Angel Falls? And then the two possible answers are, it's 975 meters, or 3,212 feet tall, or it's 975 meter, 39 meters high. The correct one is it's 979 meters high. That's the only one that makes sense. What about number two? If you have the answer, please let me know. You have Australia to New Zealand. What is the question? Wendy. Uh, how far is Australia to the New Zealand? How far is Australia to New Zealand? You can say it like that. Uh, so, just a second. Just give me a moment here. I have something to correct. Okay. Just a moment, please. I have a technical problem. Okay, 
So you say uh, it's a little bit different actually. How far, oh, sorry, there's some mistake here. Okay, how far is Australia from New Zealand? That's more like yes. it. Mm -hmm. How far is Australia from New Zealand? So also, Wendy, can you help me choose the correct answer? You have a little bit teacher is letter, around 200 square kilometers. 200 or 2,000? 2, 2,000 square mm -hmm. kilometer. But square kilometers, are you sure? Square no, kilometers. No, no, no. It's uh -huh. about 2,000 uh, kilometers mm -hmm. or, yeah. Mm -hmm, correct. It's about 2,000 kilometers or 1,200 miles. Yes. That is correct. Okay. What about number three, Saul Alexander? This is the Yangtze River. What about the Yangtze River? What is the question? How long is the Yangtze River? How long is the Yangtze River? Okay, that's that's right. Very good. And what is the what is the correct answer to that question? It's six six thousand three hundred kilometers or three thousand nine hundred and seventy miles long. Let's see. Yeah, that's correct. It's 6,300 6, uh, kilometers or 3,970 miles long. Correct. Very good. Thank you, Saul. Who can tell me the next one? It's Antarctica. What about Antarctica? Jaime. Mm. How long is the? Can you repeat it? How? How? Mm -hmm. How long? How? How long? Yes. No. No. Ya ocupamos how long en la tres. Yes. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Mm. Oh. I don't know, teacher. Okay, right. no, no, no problem. Mm. Luz Clara. How cold is Antarctica? How cold is Antarctica? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And what would be the right answer? It, it gets down to... Minus... Um, Minus, ese es el menos, ¿verdad? Minus. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you say it? Minus. Minus. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then the number? 8.3 degrees uh -huh. Okay, it gets down to minus 88.3 degrees Celsius. Okay, correct. It gets down. Desciende hasta los menos 88.3 grados Celsius or los 88.3 grados Celsius bajo cero. So that's it. Very cool. What about the next one? The Amazon rainforest. Marina Esmeralda. Okay, it's six million square kilometer. Okay, kilometer. But, but, but what's the question? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> How long is the Amazon rainforest? We cannot use how long because we ah. used it in number three. ¿Y cuáles podemos usar? This one's how big, how cold, how deep, how far, how long, and how high. How far? How far? Uh -huh. how we have far? already used how far in number two. I teach. <laughs> how big, vaya. How, how big. big? Is the Amazon raining raining forest? How is big is the Amazon? Uh -huh. Square kilometer, kilometer. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Kilometers. Kilometers. Is six 2. million. Two point five million square miles. 
Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay. You say, how big is the Amazon rainforest? It's 6 million square kilometers or 2.5 million square miles. Yeah, that's right. Because this time we're talking about area, how big something is. Now we're talking about square kilometers. Very good, Marina. Um, the last one, Carla Abigail. This is the Grand Canyon. What can you say about the Grand Canyon? Um, how deep is the is the Grand Canyon? How deep is the Grand Canyon? Como una canción de los BGs, verdad? Conocen los BGs. How deep is your love by the BGs? Okay, so Carla Abigail. So how deep is the Grand Canyon? Um, it's about one point six kilometer. Kilometer. How do you say? Kilometers. <laughs> kilometers. Kilometers deep. It's about one point six kilometers deep. That is correct. Okay, very good. Very nice. All right. So, um, what are we going to do right here? Okay. We're going to do the reading section because we don't have much time right now. So we need to do the reading section. And then if we have some time, we're going to do some other extra exercises. So reading part, things you can do to help the environment. Okay, look at the pictures. Well, probably not the reading. The reading is not in the platform. We're going to go over some exercises. Okay, mejor ir por los ejercicios ahorita. Just let me find them, just a moment. Okay. We're going to have a review on the vocabulary and a little bit of the grammar from the section. Jaime Adonai. This is a training of water occurring. occurring? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Occurring? When a river. Sería... When a river falls. A waterfall. Ahí sigue la, la, la definición. This is a stream of water occurring when a river falls from a high place. Ah, so, so a harm place, yes. Uh -huh. it's, <laughs> Sorry, it's, no uh, había visto que tenía la continuación. Okay, no problem. Eh, sería waterfall. It's a waterfall, correct. Okay, that's the example right there. Thank you, Jaime. This is a stream of water occurring when a river falls from a high place. It's a waterfall. What about number two? Who can help me read it and choose the answer? Saul Alexander, number two, please. This is a large area of land that has lots of trees on it. Mm -hmm. This is a large area of land that has lots of trees on it. What is that? A forest. It's a forest. That is correct. Okay, that's a forest. Very good. Thank you, Saul. Wendy, number three. This is a low area of land between montai or hill. This is a low area of land between mountains and hills. Or Let hills, it... sorry. Little a valley. A valley. That's valley. correct. It's a valley. Okay. A valley is a low area of land between mountains or hills. Good. Number four, Braulio. Um, this, this is an um, area of water with land or uh, erum it. This is an area of water with land all around it. What's that? Mm, number. Uh, number number or letter? Uh, so, sorry, letter C. Letter C. Island. Well, island is actually the opposite because an island is an area of land with water all around it. Sorry, letter B. Letter B, ocean. Um, are you sure? Quiero ver, es que dice... Perdón, teacher, es que... 
eh, Jover dice el sueño, el sueño, eh, hasta ahora um, es que es como que está determinando el área del agua algo así no, this so, is an area of water es mm. un área de agua ok, with land all around it con terreno o tierra a su alrededor Uh -huh. Por eso dije primero dije, sí, porque pensé que estaba como describiendo una isla. Eso sería lo contrario, sería un, un terreno, ¿verdad? Con agua a todo alrededor. Pero ah, aquí decimos okay. lo contrario. Okay. Es un cuerpo de agua con terreno alrededor. ¿Qué sería? This is an area ah. of water with land all around it. Entonces, sorry, eh, little, eh. It's a lake. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's a lake. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a lake. Very good. Number five, Carlos Alberto. Okay, this is uh, number five. Oh, this is a mountain with a hole on the top. Mm -hmm. It's smoke and lava sometimes. Uh, sometimes come out and it uh, It can be dangerous, right? So what is that? Is it a hill, a canyon, or a volcano? Carlos, your microphone is 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 off. I'm sorry? Carlos Alberto, su micrófono se desactiva o lo está desactivando usted? No, se me desactiva. Option C, volcano. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, this is a mountain with a hole on top. Smoke and lava sometimes come out and it can be dangerous. It's a volcano. Okay, thank you, Carlos. And uh, number six, uh, Carla Abigail, number six, please. This is a dry, sandy place. It doesn't rain much here and there aren't many plants. What's that? Uh, letter A, desert. Oh, no. Des desert. 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 Mm -hmm. It's letter A, desert. Okay, good. This is a dry, sandy place. It doesn't rain much here, and there aren't many plants. It's a desert. Okay, nice. So, what are we going to do here? Complete the names. You have to use words from the box. And in the box, you have canyon, desert, falls, mount, ocean river, lake, and sea. Jaime. Amazon is river. I'm sorry? River. Yes, that's correct. This Grand Canyon and Amazon River. Very good. Thank you, Jaime. Marina, number three. My teacher. Bam, 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 bam. Maya, me pero, me pero, me pero, me pero. <laughs> Creo que es Mount. Mount Superior. Sorry, it's not Mount Superior. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Saul Alexander. Oh, my. Um. <laughs> it's not easy. I'm in absolute. I know. I respond for Marina, teacher. Don't worry. Eh, vaya, como cuando okay, usted but it's, it's, uh, uy, recordemos eh, silenciar el micrófono en caso que no estemos participando. Ok, thank you. Ok, Saúl. Um, Oceans. Ocean Superior. Thank you for participating. No. 
Maybe Carla Abigail knows. No. A lake? It's Lake Superior. That's right. Okay, Lake Superior. All right. Cool. Wendy Lisette, number four. Mount. Mount Fuji. Okay. Yeah, Mount Fuji in Japan. Very good. Okay, good. Claudia Maria Garcia. Mediterranean Falls. Mediterranean Falls. Uh, thank you for participating. <laughs> it's a different one, but thank you very much. Juan Carlos, number five. Mediterranean Sea. Mediterranean Sea. Okay. Mediterranean sea. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Luis Fernando, number six. Angel Falls. Angel Falls. Yeah, that's right. Angel, Angel Falls. Falls. Yeah, correct. Very good. Uh, Luz Clara, number seven. Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Okay, good. Thank you. And Jaime. Uy, I'm sorry. Jaime. No? Desert. <laughs> okay, Sahara Desert. Yeah, correct. You have the Grand Canyon, the Amazon River, Lake Superior, Mount Fuji, Mediterranean Sea, Angel Falls, Pacific Ocean, and the Sahara Desert. Okay, there you go. Uh, now we're going to practice comparatives and superlatives. Okay, now write the comparative and superlative of the words given. These are the spelling, this is a spelling note, comparatives and superlatives. Normally you add ER or EST to most words, like long, the comparative is longer, superlative, the longest. Add R or ST to words ending in E, for example, large, and seen an E. So you just say larger with an R, the largest. Drop the Y and add IER or IEST, like in dry becomes drier. And the superlative is the driest and double the final consonant and add ER or EST. Media regla, aquí no le dicen usted exactamente cómo va todo, pero bueno, menos mal que ya lo vimos. Big, for example, becomes bigger, double G for the comparative, and in the superlative form, it's the biggest. So the first one is BC, the comparative is BCR, and the superlative is the BCS. What about number two? Cool. Who knows? Raise your hand if you know the answer. What's the comparative and the superlative of cool? Saul. The <clears throat> cool is cooler mm -hmm. and the coolest. Cooler and the coolest. That's right. Very good. Thank you, Saul. What about number three? Friendly. Wendy. Uh, friendliest and the friendlier. More friendly. Uh, how? Friendliest and friendlier. Friendlier. Ah, uh, friendlier and friendliest. And the friendliest. The friendliest. Okay. The comparative is friendlier, and the superlative is the friendliest. Okay, Luz Clara and then Carlos Alberto. Luz Clara, number four, heavy. What's the comparative? Heavier, uh, heavier and heaviest. Heavy. 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 Okay. Okay, so uh, heavier and the heaviest. Okay, thank you. Carlos Alberto. Number five, nice. Teacher is nicer. Uh, the nice uh, termina con la misma vocal. Uh, no sé si se por eso duplica y termina siempre con EST. Uh, uh -huh. The nicer. So nicer and the nicest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The nicer, nicer and the nicest. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Number six, volunteer, please, Jaime. Seria noiser. 
noisier. Okay. Noisier, sorry. Noisier, uh -huh. noisier the noisier. Mm, not exactly. Oh, then the noisier, I don't know. Okay. Maybe Brawl, you can help us. The 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 noisiest, the noisiest, right? The noisiest. All right. Pronunciation. Thank you. Pronunciation. Sorry. Ah, pronunciation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wendy Lisette, number seven, please. Older and the oldest. Older and the oldest. Okay. Good. Number eight, safe. Who can help us with this one? Saul Alexander. Safer, safer and the safest. Safer and the safest. That is correct. Very good. Carla Abigail, number nine. Small. And smaller. Mm -hmm. And the smallest. The smallest. Okay, very good. Smaller and the smallest. Very good. And the last one, wet. Jaime. Mm -hmm. The pronouns, I don't know, teacher. And where is it? Okay, weather. The weather there is. I... The wettest. The wettest, yes. The wettest. The wettest. Okay, yeah. There you go. Thank you, Javier. Jaime, sorry. Okay, um, all right. There is, uh, it's already 10, but we, we, we started a little late, so we need to, to continue. We're going to do this exercise. This is going to be the last one. Complete this conversation. You have to use the superlative, only the superlative form of the words of the words given. This is the Grand Canal. Okay, the Grand Canal. So uh, it's a conversation between Ian and Vol. Ian says, so where did you go for your vacation, Vol? And Vol says, Italy. Ian says, how exciting. Did you have a good time? Balsa says, it was terrific. That means it was very good. I think Italy is, and then as an example, you have exciting, the most exciting country in Europe. Okay, so what about Ian? What does he say? I need a volunteer. Wendy. The most famous? Well, it certainly has some of the most famous cities in the world, Rome, Milan, and Venice. What about Val? ¿Qué dice Val? La oración entera. Saul Alexander. Yeah, I had a good... Superlative. I have? Yeah, yeah, I had a good mm -mm. time. In. Mm -mm. I had a I had a, a good no, sorry, I I had a goodest time in mm -mm. goodest goodest doesn't exist. Oh I'm sorry. Better. I had a better is a comparative form. You need to use a superlative. Um I had a Maybe Braulio Good. can Good. help us. Good. Good. Mm, thank you for your participation. So thank you. Uh, okay. W what about Braulio? Braulio can help us. I uh, had. Yeah, yeah, I had the best. I had the best time in Venice. Okay. Yes, I had the best time in Venice. That's a superlative. It's. Volunteer Braulio, maybe you can help us. It's. Um, um, it's beautiful. Mm, superlative form. Maybe Wendy can help us. 
is uh, the most beautiful? It's the most beautiful city I've ever seen. Of course, it's also one of... Who can the help us here? Popular. Who said that? Okay, siempre levantamos la manita. Okay, Juan Carlos. Okay, it's one of the most popular tourist attractions. Okay, it was... Luz Clara. It was the most crowded. crowded. It was city. the most crowded city, city I visited summer. this summer. And there weren't even any cars. Ian says, I've always wanted to visit Venice. What's it like in the winter? And Val says, actually, that's... Juan Carlos. The what? That's the worst time to visit unless you want to avoid the summer crowds. Venice, correct. Venice is one of two adjectives to finish. Jaime. I don't know, but uh, the most cold and fungi. The most cold and foggy. No, sorry, it's a bit different. Wendy Lisette. The most coldest and foggiest. Too many words. Maybe Luz Clara can help us. Coldest and foggiest places. The coldest and foggiest. I'm okay. Sorry, the cold. The coldest and foggiest places in Italy in the winter. Okay, everybody, it's 10 and 8. We need to finish the class now. Um, gracias por conectarse. Solamente voy a tomar asistencia rapidito de aquellos que aún no me han contestado. Que solo es una persona. Jesús Eduardo. ¿Se con logró conectar? Jesús Eduardo no aparece en la lista. Okay, then. Uh, recuerden que mañana no hay clase, ¿verdad? Mañana es viernes, así que no hay clase. Um, yeah. Recuerden trabajar, por favor, la sección hasta la 4 tiene que estar completa y aparte de la 5. La siguiente semana haremos la sección 5 y tendremos el final exam. Ok. Everybody, have a great weekend and I'll see you Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye.